five bad habits of empaths. It's your girl, Keely Tavana. I'm a psychotherapist who's passionate about helping my empaths navigate complex, tricky, one-way relationships that drain from us, that suck us, and most importantly, prevent us from fulfilling our own potential. Remember my empath crew, everything is energy. And if you keep sowing your energy into situations that won't change, can't change, and don't want to change, it ain't great for your greatness. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you the five habits that you exhibit that are just not great for your greatness. I am Kili Tavana, a qualified, experienced psychotherapist who helps empaths every single day develop their self-awareness so they can become clear about the choices that they make that often create their misery and the choices they can make to create the future that they want for themselves. Biggest challenge is our relationship with fear. Fear is better when you face it rather than to avoid it. Any problem you avoid will only get worse. You can trust me on that. So in researching this video, I came up with 10 and I could have probably gone on, but because I have to be mindful of time, I'm going to go through five, but knowing me, because I'm a talker, I'll probably go through 11 or 12. But firstly, we must understand that we often attract people that we want to fix. Yes, the flip of that, and I've seen this many times in the therapy room, is that if you meet someone who is fixed, who is capable, you're highly likely to reject them. They don't make you feel the same way. So this is the first bad habit that us empaths go for. We reject fixed people, if such a thing exists, and we're highly likely to go for the person with the trauma story and this and that happened to them. Secondly, you know you put yourself last. Your selflessness results in you coming at the bottom of the totem pole. It's no wonder we end up getting depressed. Thirdly, you doubt yourself and you don't tap into the power of your instincts. You avoid conflict and you let people take the downright piss out of you. How else can I say that? I could have been diplomatic, but it is what it is. The fourth bad habit you get yourself into is you often take the bait. Narcissists are great at throwing the bait at you and what they really need you to do is to catch it and sometimes we know exactly what they're doing and it's understandable but because of fear we just take the bait but in the long run it's not great for your greatness and if you want to know more about that check out the video I'll put the link above about the importance of naming it, calling things out. This is also linked to the grey rocking technique. Sometimes we know people are baiting us, but for whatever reason, you take the bait. Not great for your greatness. One of the fifth tips for us to be conscious of, this is something to pay attention to. The ways that we live in hope. We may see the best in people. You may have had that little window when that narcissistic individual was being nice. And we run with it. We really hope that that is the person that they will be once they get over this, once they get over that. That true, kind person will be the person. So we have this habit of minimising the bad and volumizing the good. Ain't great for your greatness. Again, I've touched on this before, we are also out of sync with our intuition. Sometimes we also don't like the truth. The truth can be very inconvenient for us. And as such, which links into the next habit that are bad for empaths, is we go into avoidance. Like I said, any problem you avoid only gets worse. And this is something that we need to be conscious of. Additionally, we have this tendency to take responsibility for other people's problems. My friend, when they were creating their problems, was you there? No. Did they consult you? No. However, when it all goes pear-shaped, when it all goes wrong for the international crew who aren't familiar with UK euphemisms, you then are the person they seek for the solution. And because that validates us, 
we are much more likely, if you're in a naive empath, to go above and beyond to try to fix the situation. Additionally, I knew I would go over one of the challenges, one of our bad habits, bad habits that keep us stuck in cycles is we seek their validation. You see, fundamentally, why do we do that? You don't rate you. Mm -hmm. You don't rate you. You may not believe in you. And so what you do is disproportionately believe in them. And what do they do? They ride you like a donkey. They exploit your insecurity for their own advancement. And if that speaks to you, then my encouragement to you, sign up below for my three-day habit challenge designed for empathic people, sensitive souls like us, who may be doubting whether empathy is a curse. My friend, your empathy is not a curse. You don't understand your gift and you don't understand how to protect it. And it's my hope and my ambition to help you develop your awareness, to open your eyes, to become more conscious of how you end up sabotaging yourself and creating your own misery. The revolution, the transformation you seek is available to you. And the way we do that is through the vehicle of our choices. But firstly, empaths, we must look at the bad habits we have that causes us to go round in vicious circles and where our own potential and the transformation we seek for our life, it just doesn't manifest. I want you to have a better life, but I can't want for you what you don't want or will not commit to for yourself. I am Keely Tamano, psychotherapist who's passionate about helping my empath crew navigate tricky, complex relationships, cause it ain't easy and them narcissists are far from easy. But where there is a will, there is a way. Do not lean on the limitations of your own thinking. You need community and support. Some of us need strategies and tactics to deal with these individuals. Because that manipulation game ain't no joke. Need help? Need support? Go down below. Check out the links. Sign up for a call. Or why not sign up for my three-day challenge Change is available. There's a reason you are still watching this video. It's your time. Dedicate, commit to your precious life. Do take care of you because if you don't, we know how that goes.